Hello and welcome to Vicki's Country Home. Just wanted to give y'all an update. This video's late, but there's been so much coming out of my garden. I'm trying to keep up with that. Doing canning, dehydrating, all kinds of, and cooking with it every day. So these are just pictures of what I've been bringing in daily from my garden. And again, I picked my tomatoes a little early because of critters eating them. I got my grapes in, my apples. I've gotten just so much food out of my garden. And today I'm making egg rolls to use some of the produce out of my garden too. So it's just been beautiful. Chickens and sourdough starter. And Kong, you just look lovely. Look at that. You got it all over your face. You look very fine. Yep. Very dashing. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Kong enjoys the starter. Kong didn't like me talking about him and so he walked over there and shook it all off. Kong, I thought you looked very nice. Yeah. Yeah, you can go eat it. I must have hurt his feelings. And Creek Boy came out to see what it's all about. He doesn't come outside a lot. He leaves this to Kong. When I'm out here, he'll come check it out. Pretty boy. Hi, pretty boy. There you go. Yeah. Looking very nice. He is such a pretty rooster. Yes, you are. Pretty rooster. Pretty boy. It has been one crazy week. I have been drowning in vegetables, which is a wonderful thing. Vegetables, fruit, it's, it's just so incredible to me the amount of produce I've gotten this year, the food. I'm loving it. Well, now <laughs> I'm trying to use it. And so I, one of the things that I decided to do, I haven't made egg rolls in years and years and years. But guess what? He uses a lot of vegetables. So I have shredded cabbage. I have sliced green onions. I have shredded carrots, sliced up some water chestnuts. And I've got some bean sprouts. And I've got my zaycon shrimp thawing, and I'm going to chop that up into little pieces. And then I'm going to make egg rolls. And to go along with that, we are having some Mongolian beef. And I cheat and use a mix, because I have no idea. I've never tried it from scratch. I'm sure I could do it, but probably don't have the ingredients on hand. And I'm not going back to town today. I've been there all day. So... Here's what I've got so far, and it was this was kind of like, oh, I should be filming this. <sighs> Sorry, guys, I'm just not used to this yet. I'm kind of overwhelmed with all the food. So I'm going to chop up the shrimp, and I'm going to stir fry it with these vegetables, then put in the bean sprouts with some soy sauce and a little bit of seasonings. And then we will put them in the egg roll wrappers, and I'll bring you along and show you what I'm doing as I do it. Okay. So I'm heating the oil to stir fry this as Shayna walks by mumbling because she doesn't want to be videoed. So I'm going to get this oil hot. I'm going to put in shrimp that I have diced up and this whole bowl full of veggies that are going to stir fry and kind of cook down a little bit. I 
put about two tablespoons of oil. I may add more if it looks like it's small enough. But I want to wilt this. I want to put it in nice and tender. This is going to be the filling with my egg rolls. It's been one heck of a week. It's the hurricane. And I know we are praying so much for all of those people. We have family and friends all over the area, a lot of them in the Houston area. And so far, we're very thankful that most of them seem to be okay. There's been some damage that we heard about, but thankfully it's not the kind that you're seeing in the news. So just continue to pray for those people. This is I lived in Houston for several years. We saw hurricanes come through. You can't even imagine. This is not a normal hurricane. Um, this one had a lot of water associated with it, and it didn't move. And that is not typical. And so. Everybody's pointing fingers and saying, well, you should have left, you should have this, you should have that, but you know what? Nobody had any way of knowing because this storm was so crazy. It, it was not a storm that they could have expected. So I put in my shrimp, and I'm going to turn it up. For a second, so I can get the rest of it. Okay, I've added about a tablespoon rice wine vinegar and I know about two tablespoons of soy sauce. And I added, oh, cup, cup and a half of the bean sprouts. So this, I think, is about ready. And I'm going to turn this off and let it cool a little bit. And then I'll start filling the wrappers. But in the meantime, I'm making a big mess. Um, I'm gonna let the juices kind of settle into it while it cools. In the meantime, I'm gonna get ready to do my Mongolian beef. Again, from a packet, but you know what? This is gonna be a really good meal. Okay, so this is cooled down a little bit so it's not so hot. And a lot of the juice has just kind of drained off. So I'm, I'm letting that happen because I don't want these too wet inside. So I got my egg roll wrappers. And this is the only kind of size I could find at my store. So they're kind of small. I used to make the big ones. I think they work better, but that was not an option. So I just lay it out. When you lay it, kind of diamond shaped and you put the filling in now I just kind of roll to do this and I'm no expert I haven't done these in years and years and I taught myself then and I it worked that's all I care so you push the bottom point underneath kind of wedge it in because you want that to stay firmly. And then you fold over both ends, making sure you get all the filling inside. And then you roll it tightly. But before you close it up, I use a good egg brushing of egg. That's going to help it stay closed. Now I'm going to keep these covered with a damp towel as I make them, because I don't want them to dry out. So I've just got to do all of these. <laughs> it's going to be a bunch, but you know what? We're going to enjoy it a lot. So and I'm making homemade sweet and sour sauce to go with it. And again, the Mongolian barbecue, which I'm going to make once I start frying these, because none of this takes that long. The prep really is most of the time. So again, you kind of tuck it in. Make sure you got all your filling, all your goodies in there, and fold that in there tightly. Just don't, no escapees, none. 
Roll it over. And I don't think you can see this. I may have to do one not paying attention to my camera. Let me see if I can bring it down just a little. Hopefully this will work. And I keep these in the package or under a towel at all times because they will dry out. They're very thin. And the last thing you want is these things breaking and coming apart on you. That was a little much, so I'm going to take a little bit out. So again, I kind of bring the two points front and back together just to kind of get the filling in the center. And then I take the bottom and push and roll tightly just to get it started. Bring over each end, put the point in, and roll it. And then take my egg wash to finish rolling. So again, these are kind of small, but you know what? They're going to cook fast. So that's a good thing. Keep them under a wet towel. So I'm going to get all these rolled so I can get dinner made. Okay, I've got my egg rolls rolled. I've got my oil hot, and I'm going to start putting them in. I'm going to let that get just a little more hot for the next one. I want it to really sizzle when I put it in. And since the ingredients are already cooked, we're just cooking the wrapper. That's all we're doing here. And over here I've got my beef going for my Mongolian beef. And I just cut that in thin strips. And I want to get it browned and then I'll put the sauce in. But I'm not in a hurry because I want to cook my egg rolls. And this is my homemade sweet and sour sauce. So it's not pink, because you know what? That's probably food colorings. But this is made with pineapple juice, brown sugar, vinegar, um, some pepper, and a little soy sauce. Let's check this. Now that's the temperature I want. So I'm going to go ahead and put a few more in there while this finishes cooking. There we go. It's going to be nice golden brown. drain it well. Now I'm going to put one more in there. As you can see, I have a stack of these. These little bitty ones. So, I'm going to get these things fried. I'm going to get my Mongolian beef done, and then I'll bring it back and show you what I got. So here's my Mongolian beef with some rice and the egg rolls and I can't wait to try this. Thanks for watching. Here's just a little sample of what I've been doing in the last week. I canned 12 jars of salsa 
and 21 jars, pints of green beans with lemon and garlic. So it's just been a wonderful week and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and tell your friends. Have a great week.